Let us talk about what is a composition and how to create it within After Effects. You can think about a composition as a sort of group or a container which contains layers and their informations. It's very similar to groups in Photoshop. In Photoshop, groups can contain grouped objects like layers and those layers can have effects or other things applied to it. In After Effects, compositions deal as those containers which contain information about what is going on in our videos. You can create a composition by going here on the top to the Composition panel and clicking on New Composition or using the shortcut Ctrl or Command plus N. You can also use this button as a shortcut to quickly create our compositions. As I click on it, the composition settings pop up. This is my first composition and let's call it First Test. Please open up After Effects and follow along with me. Under the basic sections, we have the presets, the size of our composition, the frame rate and a few other things like the duration. With the presets, we can choose a predefined composition setting. For example, PAL is the European standard in television, NTSC is the North American standard in television and we have some other composition settings like HDV or Film 4K and 2K. These are all different options and settings, but if you are creating animations mostly, which will be used on the computer screen, on YouTube, on your website, you will most likely not use those presets. Just take this first preset, HDV, HDTV 720, 29.97 frames. I will select the preset, but I want to go through the options with you. Well, the width and the height is pretty self-explanatory. This is the size of our working canvas. Our composition will have this size and everything we put inside of this composition and will be bigger, will be either trimmed or we will have to scale it down to put it into this resolution. Next, we have the pixel aspect ratio and in 99% of cases, you will leave it out on the square pixels because you want to create your videos and animations for YouTube, for your websites, as we were talking before, and all of those medias like computer screens have their pixels displayed in squares. So you wanna leave it at squares. If you are working something towards cinematography or with filming, you might want to look inside other options. The frame rate, for me personally in my project, I most often use 30 frames per second. Frames per second means how many still images will be displayed during one second. The basic standard for videos, if you are recording something, is 25 frames or 30 frames. Let me select 30 frames for our first test, the resolution to full, and on the bottom we have the duration settings, which will tell us how long will our composition last. You can change up the duration. The first are the frames, then we have seconds, then minutes, and then hours. The maximal length of a composition in After Effects is 3 hours, but that's definitely completely enough for what we are doing and for animations. And if you want to quickly type in, for example, 5 minutes, you press 5 dot dot. The dot means 0 for frames and 0 for minutes. If you want 5 seconds, you press 5 dot. And this automatically creates 5 seconds of duration in our composition. You can also write 500 and After Effects will interpret this, you can see a little preview here, as 5 seconds. Ok, our composition is prepared, the background color can be left to black, I hit OK and my first composition is appearing on the screen. By default, After Effects opens up the composition in the Layers panel, we see our timeline and the composition is opened in the preview window. As you can notice in my project files on the left side, I have two videos and the composition. The composition, the composition has a little different icon, which is similar to the icon to creating a new composition. Now, once I have my composition, I can drag those videos inside of my composition. Let me for example take the first video, which is a time lapse of a city. I drag the composition and as I see in the project, the composition is, as I see in my project preview, the composition is 1280 720 resolution, which is exactly the same as my composition settings. 
This is why it fits perfectly into the canvas. As I scrub through with the timeline, the time lapse is happening and I have started to create a video. Now let me hit on the Facebook address video. This video is a bit bigger. If I drag it here, it will go beyond the canvas. And I have now several ways of adjusting that. Let me make it maybe to the front as the first layer so it will be visible. So this is the Facebook video. And now what can I do to adjust it? I can either pull the handles and hold the shift key to make it smaller and somehow fit it or eventually I can hit Ctrl or Command K and change the size of my composition to be as big as the Facebook video. This is just an example of how you could adjust the composition to be exactly like your video. Now what other problems you might run into creating composition? Let me say you an example. If this video would have 25 frames, my composition has 30 frames. Each second contains 30 frames. This video would have to emulate working in 30 frames, so a few frames would be interpolated. This maybe wouldn't stand out as much, but in complex videos and in professional videography, you wanna try to work with footage which has the same frame rate as your composition or even the other way around. If you want a composition to have the exact settings like the video you are importing, you just drag the video and drag it over this little button. This will create a new composition with the exact settings like the video is. Now the composition would have this resolution, this duration and this frame rate. As I hit Ctrl or Command K, I see its current settings. The Facebook address video has these settings, this frame rate and this duration. If you are creating layers, for example, let me take a layer, maybe the polygon tool and make it very, very big. Now it would be too big and not cover inside of the screen. You can always go to layer, go to the transform options and select fit to comp. This will fit the object you have and make it smaller. The same goes for a video. If you would like to have this video, the video would be too big and you would like to resize it with one click, you would just go to layer, transform and fit it to the screen. All the composition can be opened by double clicking here and closed the same way. If you, for example, didn't want to see those handles here on each side, you would go to the preview panel settings here go to view options and just deselect the layer controls. Right now, even if I have this layer selected, this Facebook layer, the handles would not be visible and I have more freedom while creating something like additional elements. If you want to open them back into the preview window, just go to view options and open up the layer controls again. In the preview window, not only compositions, but layers can be visited also. If you want to do some changes on the layer, for example, paint with a brush, you can open up the layer, close it down, and now the composition has the informations about this layer. So to quickly recap in a few words what we have learned in this lesson. Compositions are containers which composite our layers inside of After Effects. You can create composition by going to Composition, New Composition, or editing the current composition settings by going to Composition, and composition settings. You can change the width, the frame rate and the duration of any given composition. You can of course also nest one composition into another composition. Here we have the first test composition and I can drag the Facebook address composition one time here, I can drag it a second time, I can duplicate, I can add effects, I can make it invisible on the timeline. Everything can be composited within one container composition. That's all I wanted to share about compositions. Thank you for listening to this lecture.